Hello, my name is Edwin, I'm a fantasy map maker and I use Wonder Draft for almost all my maps. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, tell a little bit about scaling and resizing in Wonder Draft. Uh, I'm taking this map of the Puffin Islands, which I made for my own uh, mystery adventure game, The Men Eating Birds of the Puffin Islands. Um, and it's a nice small map that is easy to load and to use for the purpose of this video. So in the menu, you can go to change map size and you will get this pop-up. There are different things you can do and changing the map size is on top of it. Uh, you can fill in the number of pixels and with this little chain icon, you can decide if you want to maintain the aspect ratio or not. So if now I would change this one to, for example, 3200 and I click here, it automatically updates to keep the same uh, ratio. Then there's this option scale map which you can turn on and off. If you turn it on it will just shrink the whole map but you will see exactly the same just on uh, less pixels. If you turn it off it will crop part of your current map and you will lose part of it. That's also why there is this warning cannot be undone. So before you start using the change map size tool always make a save. Uh, you can't undo it and uh, often you can't get back to what you had before. So if I do scale map on and with this ratio, then you won't see that much of a difference. It just becomes a little bit smaller. If you would go really small or you change it to something really big, uh, you might notice that there are some things. I can do that, of course, as an example. If we go to something small you might notice that there are some things which are not really going well in one draft that's for example that the outline of the labels outline width doesn't scale along with the font so the font changes the outline doesn't uh, I don't have it on this map but also the path tool doesn't scale properly and you might have to adjust it afterwards um, with the scaling on you can always go back to I don't know exactly what we had previously. Do something bigger again. And with the scaling and the ratio on, you will get kind of what you had before. Let me go back to the change map size uh, and we'll try it without the scaling. And if we then still have the ratio on and we go, for example, to 3000, you will see that you lose things. The island is cut off and some other things are also not there anymore. And the reason why you have to make a save before you do it, because if this was not what you intended and you would want to go back, you can't just say like, oh yeah, give me the old sizes again. Because although it remembers some of the symbols that were on the edges as well as labels, the land, the rivers, and a lot of other things don't get memorized and you lose part of what you had before. Luckily, I also saved it, so I'm going back to my initial version, which I have here. Then we can go to this anchor. It has four arrows, which uh, you can use to lock a certain part of your map. If you, for example, want another island to the left of your map, you lock the right side, and in this case, you only want the width to change and not the height, so we turn off the aspect ratio and just increase the width and then the height doesn't change along. And you get an extra ratio. You will have to redo the coloring of the water in this uh, example, but you can make your extra island or whatever you want to do. The same way goes the other way around. If you regret having done this, you can do it back to the 3900. You still have this side locked, so it will take only from that side. And in this case, you can... Oh, apparently I had 3800. Well, it doesn't really matter for the example right now. And with this, you can also lock two sides, like the right side and the bottom in this case, which means that if you do maintain aspect ratio and you make them both a little bit smaller and it takes it only from the right side uh, 
oh, from the top side and the left side. So it will be stranded, almost gone. So that way you can play with what side you want to remove. If you have the scaling option, you can't use the anchor because with the anchor it's by default not scaled. So this way you can uh, play around and see what you would like if you want to take off a part of your map and only keep the, uh, the islands, for example. Then you lock this side and you have to guess a little bit how much would have to go off, but it is a little bit over half, so I would go for 100 and we'll see what happens. A little bit too much maybe, but if you would want only your islands, you can do it like this. But in that case, in many cases, it would be more beneficial to use the create detail map, which also scales depending on how much you zoom here. And then move it away. If you select an area, you can exactly say which part you want on it. If you do it like this and then create, you're not in the same WonderDraft file anymore, but it creates a new WonderDraft file. So you can't go back and whatever changes you make won't be made on your original file, but only on this new file. And then you have it like this, which you have to save as a separate file. That's it for today. It was a short video, but uh, I saw that the question was being asked on the Wanderer Reddit and I see it uh, occasionally. So I guess more people are having issues with this same tool. Good luck making your maps and see you in the next video.